Philadelphia, the largest city in Pennsylvania, once stood as the proud capital of the United States before Washington, D.C. took its place. It's a city rich with history, home to the Liberty Bell and the Declaration of Independence. But today, certain parts of Philadelphia are shadows of that glory. Among them is Kensington Avenue, a place that many now call the Zombie City. The eerie atmosphere of this area resembles something straight out of a horror film, not because of mythical creatures, but because of the very real and tragic circumstances surrounding its people. Kensington Avenue has become notorious for its haunting ambience, where the residents, many of whom are lost to drug addiction, appear almost zombie-like. They stagger aimlessly, with hollow eyes and slow, uncoordinated movements, as though trapped in a nightmare they can't wake up from. The streets are lined with individuals slumped against walls or sitting with their heads hung low, too weak or too high to move. Some remain motionless for hours, needles still dangling from their arms. This heartbreaking scene is why many people have labeled Kensington as a place of living dead, where life lingers on the brink of hopelessness. The grip of addiction, a city under siege. One of the most pressing reasons for this surreal transformation is the rampant presence of drug dealers and users in Kensington. Once a lively neighborhood, it is now dominated by an opioid epidemic that's unlike anything the city has ever seen. Philadelphia has been particularly devastated by the opioid crisis, with Kensington Avenue at its epicenter. The scene here can easily make someone feel like they've stepped into an apocalyptic world. Drug addiction has caused this part of the city to spiral into chaos. People wander the streets, unable to focus, moving in slow motion as if their bodies no longer function normally. It's not just the drugs themselves, heroin, fentanyl, and methamphetamine that have wrecked these lives, but also the deep psychological wounds that addiction leaves behind. The hollow expressions and lifeless stares of those in Kensington tell a story of despair, as though hope itself has been drained from the air. This overwhelming presence of addiction has led to staggering statistics. In 2019 alone, 1,150 people died of drug overdoses in Philadelphia. That number rose to 1,214 in 2020 and was expected to reach 1,250 in 2021. The situation only worsens year by year. Philadelphia's opioid crisis isn't just about numbers, though. It's about the real people behind these statistics, sons, daughters, mothers, and fathers who have become prisoners of their own bodies. Under the influence of drugs, they stumble through Kensington Avenue, heads bowed, as though trapped in an invisible cage. They're slow, lethargic movements make them look more like zombies than the vibrant human beings they once were. Some residents have described walking down Kensington Avenue as walking through a horror film, where the monsters are not supernatural, but victims of addiction. Homelessness, a community lost. The opioid crisis has also contributed to a surge in homelessness throughout Kensington. Most of the people in this neighborhood are not just battling addiction, they're also without homes. They sleep on the streets, many in makeshift tents that line the sidewalks. Tattered tarps and worn out blankets are all that separate them from the cold pavement. This growing encampment of tents makes the area look even more desolate, turning Kensington into a landscape that reflects poverty, addiction, and abandonment. The city has tried to address the homelessness issue by providing shelters and recovery centers, but many addicts prefer the streets over the structured environments of shelters. There's a level of freedom in the chaos for them, freedom to use drugs without restrictions, to live without rules. As a result, the problem only continues to grow. What was once a bustling neighborhood has now become a canvas of desperation filled with tents that offer no real shelter from the storm of addiction sweeping the streets. The government and nonprofit organizations continue to step in, offering assistance in the form of outreach programs, 
shelter, and rehabilitation services. But the scale of the problem is so vast that these efforts seem to barely scratch the surface. Every day, new addicts arrive, drawn to Kensington by the cheap and readily available drugs, further swelling the ranks of the city's lost souls. The streets of despair, a city overrun with waste. As if the human suffering wasn't enough, Kensington Avenue is littered with physical reminders of the city's opioid epidemic. Walk down the streets and you'll see discarded needles scattered across sidewalks, in parks, and along building walls. These used syringes, once filled with heroin or fentanyl, now lie in heaps like relics of addiction. Along with the needles are piles of trash, broken bottles, food wrappers, and other waste, turning the city's public spaces into what looks like a war zone. Graffiti covers nearly every available surface. Walls, fences, benches, adding to the feeling that this part of the city has been entirely abandoned by society. Once beautiful parks, where children used to play, are now overtaken by addicts injecting themselves in broad daylight. Playgrounds are no longer places of joy, but sites where dirty needles and broken dreams coexist. Fences are covered in graffiti, and the air carries the stench of garbage and decay. It's a sight that can leave even the most hardened individuals speechless. The neglect is visible everywhere. Buildings are crumbling, streets are filled with potholes, and even basic public services seem to have given up on this area. For the residents of Kensington, it feels like they've been left behind, forgotten by the rest of the city, and indeed the country. A glimmer of hope amid the darkness. But even in this bleak reality, there are those who haven't given up. Local organizations, faith groups, and volunteers continue to work tirelessly to provide help and hope to the people of Kensington. Whether it's offering food, shelter, or access to rehabilitation services, these organizations represent the last lifeline for many of the city's addicts. They serve as a reminder that even in the darkest of places, there are still people who care. However, the fight is an uphill battle. The scale of addiction, homelessness, and crime in Kensington is overwhelming. In a 2022 poll by the Pew Charitable Trust, 70% of Philadelphia residents said that the combination of crime, drugs, and public safety were the biggest problems facing the city. It's clear that without drastic change, Kensington will continue to spiral further into darkness. The Kensington Avenue of today is a stark reminder of the devastating power of addiction. What was once a thriving community is now a place that feels lost to the world. The zombie city may sound like a metaphor, but for the people who live there, it is a reality they face every day. And while the rest of Philadelphia may continue to grow and prosper, Kensington remains trapped, waiting for a lifeline that seems further out of reach with each passing day. Thanks for watching.